In this video, I am going to show you how a student can turn in a Canva assignment into Google Classroom. There are multiple ways of doing this, but there's one that really benefits the teacher when it comes time to grade, and that's the method that I'm going to show today. So I'm in a student account. I'm going to click on my assignment. And the link is going to direct me right into Canva. Now, when a student clicks on this, they will click um, that purple button that says use template for new design, and that will generate a copy. I'm not going to do that right now because I've actually gone in and created my timeline. If I click this again, I'm just going to get a new copy. So I am going to go into my Canva account. Here it is right here. Okay, I'm going to pull it up. Now, the template was just one page, but you can see that as, um, as a student, it's very easy to add a page. And I want to talk about how to deal with this when you are turning an assignment in. So when it comes time to turn in, we go to the share button. And there is a Google Classroom button here. I don't suggest using this because if a student turns it in using that button, you as a teacher would have to go in and open up each assignment within Canva, and that takes a lot of time. So we're going to have our students download and then upload so you can see all the assignments at once. It'll be very easy for you to grade uh, if students just attach a downloaded copy. All right, so if I keep scrolling down, here's the download. And when I click on it, I do see a lot of information plus select pages, all pages too. Now, if a student has added more pages, you don't want the student to turn in all of those pages. So unclick the pages that should not be turned in. If you're turning in more than one, then it's going to turn into a zip drive and then it gets a little bit more complicated and we don't want um, that to happen. Or you can have the student delete what is not necessary. So either one is an option. So now I have my one page template, or um, at this point filled in template, and I'm going to share it. Scroll down. Again, I'm going to skip the Google Classroom button and go to download. Now I don't have a choice um, regarding pages because there's only one page, but file type is important. File type would either be PNG, which is an image. So if this graphic is to be an image somewhere in another document, choose that option. Or if it's a standalone document, select PDF. So I'm going to select PDF. I am going to download. And now I have a message that the download is complete. I can go back into my classwork, open up instructions, and now I'm going to add that file that I just downloaded. Upload, because it's not in my Google Drive. Let's go to recent, okay, and there it is. So right now it's in recent, so click on that, click open. You can see that it is attaching and going to turn it in. And that is how a student is going to turn in a Canva assignment. Now I'm in the teacher view. You can see the template image right there, the thumbnail. And if students turned it in using the Google Classroom but button, they, you would have to click on the tile and that will take you into Canva. And then you'd have to come out of Canva, click on the next student, go into Canva, view it, and then come out of Canva. So that's a lot of work. 
If you have students, just download the assignment and upload it into Google Classroom. Once you click on the first person's thumbnail, you have these options up here so that you can just kind of move through the different timelines or whatever the um, project format is quickly and go ahead and assign it off to the side. So this is definitely more efficient um, and a time saver for you as the teacher.